So now what we are going to do is this. Uh, we'll see how they look, okay? How the graph of the cost function look as a function of y, okay? Uh, because y is another variable, you know, with which we want to maximize profit. So we would like to see how cost function varies with y, the output, okay? So we would like to see that behavior. I'm not particularly interested in how cost function changes with W and R, okay? Because the reason is because they are taken as given. So I don't really bother about that right now. I'm more bothered about this particular function as a function of Y, because eventually I'll be max, when I'll be maximizing profit, I will be using this cost function uh, as a replacement for the, the, the cost minimization expression that, that we have seen earlier. Okay, so I'm going to just write PY minus this term and maximize the profit. Okay, so I would like to see how this function changes with Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the graph of this. Okay, so this is So I'm going to put Y on the horizontal axis and cost on the vertical axis. So can you tell me how is this function going to look as a function of Y holding WR fixed? If I plot it, how is this going to look? It's a straight line upward sloping from the origin. And what is the slope of that line? Yeah, it should be two square root of WR, right? That's the constant, right? Okay, what about this one? How is the graph of this cost function gonna look? Sir, upward, sir, upward parabola. Okay, so is it gonna be like this or like this? This one or? So red one or blue one? So red one, red one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this is just constant times square root of y. It will have the same behavior. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. If you, uh, you know, let's say if you don't know how to draw it, then what you can do is you can take the derivative. Okay. The derivative will help you figure out whether the slope is falling or rising or what is happening to the slope, okay? So let's take the derivative of this, dc by dy is equal to what? So root w r by root y. Notice that this is positive, so this is upward sloping, but you can see that y is in the denominator. So the slope is falling, okay? As y is increasing, the slope is, falling and we can see that that's true about this graph and therefore you know the curve gets flatter and flatter as you increase y is this clear to everyone fine similarly you can draw the cost function for this one okay can you tell me how is this going to look you know the how the graph of y square looks so it's going to be like that only okay like this okay if you want to check that from the derivative approach you can also do that dc by dy is equal to 4 root wr times y so you can see that as y increases the slope increases so you can see uh, the slope is increasing as y is increasing right so initially the curve was flat and then it started uh, getting steeper and steeper as y increases okay now you can quickly draw the graphs for these okay uh, so they are also straightforward okay so it is going to be a straight line with slope w plus r okay and then the next one okay this is how it's going to look and then the last one is Is this clear? Okay. So let me tell you there is some sort of a, 
you know connection between these okay so if you really see that we have a straight line graph here and here we have a graph with this shape here and here we have a graph of this shape here and here i mean does this have some connection with the way the production functions are okay so uh so uh, so it turns out that you know if the production function uh, exhibits constant returns to scale then it will have these kind of cost functions okay the straight line cost functions with increasing returns to scale you will find that uh, cost functions will be of this type and with decreasing returns to scale uh, the cost function will be of this type okay so let me first define uh, you know all these three uh, increasing returns decreasing returns and constant returns and then we are going to check for each of these production functions which category they belong to okay knowing the returns to scale can help you solve the profit maximization problem quickly okay so uh, so let's uh, talk about uh, you know what is returns to scale okay so so we say that production function flk exhibits constant returns to scale if for all lk okay no matter where you are lk okay f well this should also be there for all t greater than 1 okay f of tl tk is equal to t of flk okay so this is constant returns to scale what that means is that if you double your input so think of ts2 for just for the sake of understanding think of ts2 so if you double the inputs your output doubles so if this was your original output this is double the output and this is output from doubling the input so output from doubling the input is same as double the output is that clear so if you double the input your output doubles when that happens we say that the production function exhibits constant returns to scale is that clear to everyone okay now let's check if this is true in these two cases or not so okay so let's talk about this production function okay so uh, I mean you if you want you can use T otherwise you can also use two. Okay. I mean it's going to give you the same result. Okay, so uh, you can use a specific value of T which is two uh, and and uh, and do your check. Uh, you will get the same result. Okay, uh, so so I'll I'll I mean I'll just use T but if you want you can use two. Okay, so what is F T L tk so ftl tk is this is flk right so you replace l by tl and you replace k by tk so you're going to get what tl half into tk half right which is what t t to the power half into t to the power half is t so t into l half k half notice that this is flk so you're going to get what t into flk so basically what does this tells you this tells you that this function exhibits constant returns to scale okay so i'm going to use crs as an abbreviation for constant returns to scale okay uh, you can check that these two production functions does not satisfy this property okay because if you double them tl into tk the output will be t square times in this case t square times the original uh, output okay so the output actually more than doubles if you double the input your output more than doubles okay so that property is of you know increasing returns to scale so when you double your input your output more than doubles then you say that the production function exhibits increasing returns to scale so flk exhibits increasing returns to scale 
if for all t greater than 1 for all l k f t l t k so basically if you multiply your labor and capital or basically if you scale your production upwards okay then your output is going to be more than t times f l k is that clear okay and i'm going to use irs to denote so notice that if i redo this problem for lk uh, i'm going to get what tl into tk which is t square l which is definitely greater than t times lk right okay so your output is going to more than double if you double your inputs okay so this is an example of increasing returns to scale okay what about this one okay so if your output less than doubles then we say that uh, it's a decreasing returns to scale technology so when you double the input your output less than doubles okay so if you want you can write it like this okay decreasing returns to scale if this is the case okay and we use drs notice that in this case the production function exhibits decreasing returns to scale okay so let's just check that tl to the power 1 by 4 into tk to the power 1 by 4 which is t to the power half into l to the power 1 by 4 into k to the power 1 by 4 which is actually smaller than t l 1 by 4 k 1 by 4 which is t f l k right so this is less than t f l k therefore doubling the input less than doubles your output and uh, and we have decreasing returns to scale okay okay uh, similarly you can check for this one okay this is a case of constant returns to scale uh, we can check why okay so what is minimum of t l t k so obviously uh, you know t is a positive number so if i take it out it's not going to affect the equality so it is going to be t times minimum l k which is actually t times f l k okay so so what are we going to get that this is crs okay similarly you can check that if you're going to do the same thing here t square will come out so this is increasing returns to scale if you do this one square root of t will come out so it is decreasing returns to scale is that clear and notice that for irs we have a similar cost function uh, for DRS, we have a similar cost function. For CRS, we have again a similar cost function. Not, I mean, I'm not saying they are the same, but they are kind of have a similar shape. Okay, 